All right, this video is going to be all about nutrition for medics and health professionals, I guess. Unfortunately, during nursing school, during medical school, we are not taught enough nutrition. It's my fundamental belief that all health professionals should be able to deliver simple, actionable nutrition and lifestyle advice to all patients that they come in contact with. It is an essential part of medicine. The first thing to say is that my nonprofit that I started, Culinary Medicine, is now in a couple of medical schools and we are trying to extend the course beyond the two medical schools that we're in to every single medical school in the country. But until there, there are lots of resources that you can familiarize yourself with before that becomes an eventuality. How did I start on my journey? Well, about nine or ten years ago now i literally just went back to basics and i started doing pubmed research looking through reviews going to conferences just trying to pick up bits of information wherever i could but having had that experience i can now offer you a more strategic approach to educating yourself in nutrition principles number one there are a few free courses online that i do recommend the first is the Food as Medicine course by Monash University. An Australian university, you can get it on FutureLearn and it is free. If you wanted to pay, I think it's around 60 pounds, you'll get a certificate with it, but you can do the free course if you're just dipping your toe. And they've got real registered dietitians and doctors talking about the subject and whether food can be referred to as medicine. It can, spoiler alert. The second course I would say is uh, Coursera. So if you look through Coursera and nutrition courses, and another one is by the Knight Lab uh, in West Coast America. They've got a whole course about the microbiota, the population of microbes that live in our gut and it is absolutely inseparable from health. If you want a more technical dive into the microbiota and how little we know about this current subject but how exciting it is, I definitely recommend that course. The links of all will be down below as well. For a basic overview of nutrition, I've got my own course online. You can check that out at thedoctorskitchen.com and sign up to my newsletter which gives you free recipes every week plus lots of podcast links and everything else that I'm reading as well. That's very, very basic. So if you're a health professional, it could be a nice way of just familiarizing yourself with what's out there and listening to the 40 plus episodes I've got on my podcast as well. I am often asked if there are paid for courses online that people can use to familiarize themselves with nutrition in the UK. Categorically, I'm not aware of a good course for professionals that is purely online. There might be some, but I'm not aware of ones that I've come across that are worthy of the amount of money that some of these uh, cost. And they range from anywhere between 500 to 2,000 pounds. And I just don't think they're worth that amount of money if you're serious about getting into nutrition research and actually being able to deliver actionable advice to patients. There are courses like mine that are more geared toward the general public but not ones that I think are worthy for health practitioners. Which qualifications are therefore worthy? If you are serious about getting into nutrition, then there are two, there are diplomas and masters. The masters that I'm doing currently at the University of Surrey is perfect for those who still wanna maintain their clinical career whilst doing a masters part-time. Others, like the masters at King's and UCL and others uh, up and down the country, are full time so you have to essentially go there four to five days a week and for people who are actually practicing unless you want to take a year out if you can afford to do that etc it's not really practical the masters that i'm currently doing at the university of surrey the masters in nutritional medicine is a lot easier for professionals to do because you can do it in your own time you go in for a week or so uh, every six to eight weeks depending on which module you want to do and then you do essays in your own time as well. I think it's a lot more practical for those who are looking to combine their clinical career with extra education in nutrition. But those are more formal. Do your own research, okay? So I started by just sifting through all the journals and reading through different websites, okay? Review articles are fantastic and you can find them on the BMJ website. Um, if you look at PubMed, BMJ Nutrition, uh, which is a new journal that came out in 2018, is a really good resource for all things nutrition related. 
Um, the American uh, Journal of Clinical Nutrition is also great and a whole bunch of others as well. With publications, always take them with a pinch of salt, particularly when it comes to nutrition because there is so much vague information out there. With nutrition research, it is quite tough because we rely heavily on observational studies and a lot of lower quality evidence, which is why there is so much controversy with anything to do with nutrition. Overall, when it comes to nutrition science, you need to be quite wary of people that brand themselves as nutrition experts or are quite dogmatic in their views. Actually, nutrition is a very fluid and dynamic science, one where we need to be open-minded to a lot of situations situations. I never thought the keto diet, for example, was useful. However, there is some evidence to suggest that we can use it in certain therapeutic scenarios. So be open-minded with everything um, and just make sure that you're being safe. There are simple core principles, things that I talk about in both of my books that apply for the majority of people, and that's a very good starting point. However, there is nuance to the subject as there is with anything in medicine. The third thing I recommend are all the incredible resources from registered bodies that we have here in the UK and abroad. Two of note are the BDA website. They have food fact sheets that are directed at patients, but they also have ones for professionals as well. They're really good for looking at things like dairy, saturated fat, uh, gluten-free diets, the evidence base behind low carb, really, really good uh, sources of information that are quite compact, easily readable, and some resources that you can give to patients too. The other one is the Nutrition Society website. They again have got very basic resources there for both professionals and for patients. Go check those out, it's a good starting platform. Another couple of resources within the same vein, SACN, that's S-A-C-N, that's a really good resource. They provide quite hefty reviews of things like saturated fat consumption in the UK, and it's a UK focused body. And the other one I'm actually a big fan of is examine.com. It's a really good website that's geared more towards supplementation, but they do have articles on dietary advice as well. Finally, if you really want to get a holistic view over a weekend or a week or so, go to a conference. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, they held a conference in, I think it was Florida at the time, this is going about five or six years. And honestly, that was an incredible immersive experience into what nutrition has to offer, as well as a networking opportunity by speaking to other people. I hope that's been useful. It gives you an overview of the journey that I've been on, but also a strategic way of tackling the issue of poor nutrition training amongst health professionals. Go educate yourself, have fun, learn about the wonderful world of nutrition and be open-minded as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's so many others for you to enjoy right here. Check out the doctorskitchen.com, sign up to the newsletter where I give science-based recipes every single week. There's a podcast, there's two books, there's loads more content on social media, doctors underscore kitchen, and I hope to see you there.